welcome children to the virtual chemistry class today we will start a new chapter physical and chemical changes lesson 2 So first we will learn about what is the change. Change is the law of nature. Changes occur always and almost everywhere in nature. Since it is a law of nature and sometimes few changes are spontaneous, needs no help no external help and few changes are non spontaneous though they occur in nature few changes are non spontaneous that means external agency is required for this change for example rusting of iron a sheet going into the plants etc these are the examples of the changes and change occur according to the law of nature. The changes, all the changes mainly categorized as physical change or chemical change. A temporary change which changes only the physical appearance of a substance without changing its chemical composition will be referred as physical change that means in the physical change the physical properties of the substance such as its color shape size state may be changed but no new substances is formed. Why? Because in the definitions it has been described that without changing its chemical composition. So to form a new substance there should be a change in chemical composition and if there is no change in chemical composition then no new substance will be formed. As in the physical change chemical compositions remain unchanged and thus no new substances is formed for example when ice cube melts water is formed now the ice is made up of h2o molecule water molecule ice is also made up of h2o molecule but there is a change in physical state which is a characteristics of a physical change also now water basically it's room temperature it is liquid and ice is a solid so when ice cube melts water is formed so this is that change of state solid to liquid but no new chemical substances formed chemical compositions remain intact there is a change in the state and the shape of the ice cubes so that means melting of ice cubes into the water is a physical change. Physical change are usually reversible but sometimes irreversible in nature. Reversible means they can be reversed back to their original positions or original state of nature. For example, if we cool that water at 0 degree centigrade then it will transform again into ice cubes so that means it is reversible in nature further on heating ice cubes melt to produce water again so these two are the reversible that is interchangeable but sometimes they are irreversible so that means physical changes are classified into two main categories one is reversible physical change another is irreversible physical change reversible physical changes are slow whereas irreversible physical changes are fast in nature generally for example melting of wask dissolutions of salt and sugar in the water stretching of rubber band are physical changes which are reversible 
However, cutting of vegetables into small pieces, cutting of the paper into the very small pieces is, is the irreversible physical change. Glowing of an electric bulb, heating of an iron rod, evaporation, breaking of the glass, drying of cloths, all are physical changes. But breaking of glass, irreversible physical change. Heating of an iron rod is a reversible physical change. You should learn about some characteristics of physical change. Physical change has the following characteristics. It's a temporary change, which is sometimes irreversible, sometimes. Generally, physical changes are basically irreversible in nature, but sometimes it may be irreversible. For example, cutting of vegetables, cutting of papers, breaking of glass, etc. Chemical compositions and the properties remain unchanged during the physical change. There may be certain change in shape size, state, color, smell of the substances for the case of the physical change. No new substances formed because chemical compositions remain intact. There may or may not be any exchange of energy during this physical change. If the energy absorbed during the physical change, it will be termed as endothermic. If heat energy evolved during the physical change it will be referred as exothermic physical change in your SCI vocab there is the definitions of physical change a temporary change which changes the physical appearance of the substance without changing its chemical composition will be termed as physical change next we will learn about chemical change now chemical change it is a permanent change chemical change is a permanent change a new and different substances having different chemical composition and properties are formed so that means it is different from the physical change where physical change no new substances formed chemical compositions remains intact while in chemical changes it is a permanent change new substances and different substances are formed basically chemical change is usually irreversible now this is the burning of sugar when a sugar is burned for a long time it turns into a black substance this black substance does not have any properties of sugar it is not sweet in taste this black substance formed is carbon only carbon thus you can say that burning of sugar is a chemical change which is a permanent and irreversible change some other examples of chemical change curdlings of milk because the chemical compositions of milk has been changed burning of paper which changes into a ash and cannot be converted back to paper rusting of iron ripening of fruits burning of fuels boiling of an egg this the boiling of an egg the chemical compositions of this egg will be changed respiration in the living organisms etc these are the examples of chemical changes in which compositions of the substance changes and it's remain permanent characteristics of chemical changes a chemical change is a permanent change cannot be reversed easily by definitions we will learn the first characteristics new substances formed because chemical compositions is not remain intact the composition and the properties of original substances changes during the chemical change large amount of energy will be changed as a form of heat or light generally usually there is a change in the mass of initial substance now burning of candle look at this figure burning of this candle is an example where both physical and chemical change occur simultaneously when the candle burns its works melts 
when melted wax drops on the float table it solidifies again so melting of wax is uh, an example of this physical change it involves in the burning of candle simultaneously some wax burns with the flame and turns into vapor forming two new substances carbon dioxide and water vapor this will be your chemical change so burning of candle is an example where both physical and chemical changes occur so melting of wax from the candle is an example of physical change in the case of the burning of candle while the burning of wax vapor to form carbon dioxide and water vapor other examples of chemical change during the burning of candle in our sci vocab chemical change can be defined as a permanent change in which new and different substances having different compositions and properties from those of the original substances are formed